Okay, and welcome to this practice. We are doing slow morning flow to wake you up gently. And we are starting in Sukhasana uh, on easy pose. So find your comfortable seated position. Of course, if you are more comfortable sitting in other way, that's fine too. The main thing is that you would be able to keep your spine straight and long and your chest open and do that in relaxed kind of manner and then just focus on your breath feel how it feels to breathe right now and just let your breathing go as it normally goes you don't need to change anything about it Focus on your breath in a way that you would be able to bring your inhalation and your exhalation equal in length. So if you feel comf more comfortable, you can count the length of your breath, your inhale and your exhale. And also try to fill your lungs completely and empty them completely. And just take this moment to feel how it feels to breathe. There is no need to rush anywhere. So you can give your full attention to your breath. Remembering that every one of your breaths is unique and every one of your breaths reserves full attention. We are continuing like this for a little while. Just breathe in, fill your lungs completely. And breathe out, empty your lungs completely. And enjoy this moment that you choose to spend with yourself. And slowly slowly you can return to your normal breath you don't need to count anything just feel how it feels and get ready to continue to our first poses which are cat and cow coming to your all fours making sure that your knees are below your hips and your wrists are below your shoulders and have awareness of your core inhale lift up your gaze curve your upper back and exhale round your upper back bring your chin to chest inhale curve your upper back lift up your gaze and exhale round your upper back bring your chin to chest inhale again lift up your gaze Curve your upper back and exhale, round your upper back. One more round, inhale, curving. And then bring your toes under, 
and come onto your downward facing dog and I briefly go through the faces of the dog so the outer faces of your feet are leveled with the outer faces of your mat they are as wide but the uh, alignment is there your thighs are engaged you are bringing your tail toward the ceiling keeping your core engaged and bringing your awareness to your armpits kind of having the feeling that you are turning your uh, armpits toward the mat and finally your palms and your fingers firmly pressed onto your mat Then inhale, lift up your gaze, step in between your hands, straighten your back. Exhale, come to your forward fold. Inhale, roll yourself up and prepare yourself to sun salutations. So you have your feet together, a little bit gap in between your heels. Thighs engaged, core engaged, shoulders back and down and fingertips actively reaching toward the mat. Then inhale, your arms up, look up. Exhale, come to your forward fold. Inhale, straighten your back, step back to plank. From there, Chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. And exhale to downward facing dog. And we are staying in the down dog for a little while. And remember the stages of the dog. Feet, your thighs your tail, your core, your armpits and your palms and fingers. And then inhale, lift up your gaze, step in between your hands, lengthen your back. Exhale, come to your forward fold. Inhale, arms up, look up. And exhale, come to your Tadasana. Second round. Inhale, your arms up, look up. Exhale, come to your forward fold. Inhale, straighten your back, step back to plank. Knees up or down. Come to your Chaturanga. Up, Doko Cobra. And downward facing dog. Again, staying there. Breathing in fully, breathing out fully. Feeling how it feels. It's the third downward facing dog that you are doing today, at least during this practice. Then inhale, look in between your hands, or step in between your hands, lengthen your back. Exhale, come to your forward fold. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, come to your Tadasana. Third round and we are continuing on from there. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, come to your forward fold. Inhale, straighten your back, step back to plank. Come to your Chaturanga. Up to your Cobra. And downward facing dog. From down dog, lift up your right leg, step it in between your hands and come to your warrior one. Make sure that your hips are pointing straight forward, arms above your head and you can have your gaze following your hands, opening to warrior two. So now you are opening your hips to the side, bending your front knee more, coming to reverse warrior, bringing your left hand on your left thigh and right hand is reaching back moving forward bringing your right palm on the inside of your right leg and reaching your left over your head then bring your right palm onto your lower back and if you if you can bind uh, under your right thigh you can do that and your case is the water ceiling just opening your chest a little here
then releasing your right hand onto your mat, left is reaching toward the ceiling and step back a little with your right leg and come to your Trikonasana, so both of your legs are now straight, thighs are engaged, make sure that the side, sides of your body are equal in length and you are opening your chest. And you can stay here or if you want, you can also try to find in your Trikonasana. Be mindful here because it is a little bit um, more intense. And then bring your right hand on the front side of your right leg and come to your half moon. So your left toes are pointing to the side. And again, you are opening your chest. You can stay here or grab hold of your left angle and open your hips a little bit here. Releasing your leg, back your Trikonasana legs and bring your palms onto your mat. And keep in mind that your spine is straight and long and you are bringing your forehead towards your shin. So doing a little forward bend here. Then lift up your gaze and come to your plank pose, Chaturanga, up dog or cobra, and downward facing dog. And just get ready to switch sides. Doing one more vinyasa here, so come to your Chaturanga. Uh, come to your down, uh, up dog and to your downward facing dog and then lift up your left leg and come to your and step it in between your hands and come to your warrior one so your hips are pointing straight forward arms above your head and come to your warrior two so your hands are now on your shoulder level and your right, uh, left knee is more bendy Reverse warrior, bring your right, right hand onto your right thigh and left is reaching back. Bringing your left hand on the inside of your left leg, opening. Apparently I did a little shortcut here, but you can open first and then try the bind uh, if it felt comfortable with the other side. And then release your hands, again opening and come to your warrior two and bring your feet a little bit closer together and come to your Trikonasana. Again, keep in mind that your thighs are engaged, the sides of your body are equal in length and you are opening your chest here. Then bring your left hand on the front side of your left foot and lift up your right leg. Come to your half moon. And if you want it, you can bring a little bit more opening your hips by grabbing hold of your ankle, your right ankle. Then releasing, bring back your trikonasana legs and then come to your forward fold over your left leg. So back straight and long and your forehead toward your seam. Then releasing and turning sideways on your mat, your toes are pointing outward and sit down a little and bring your palms over your head. This is one version of goddess pose. Then find your way onto your plank pose whichever way you want to turn on your mat and from there chaturanga up doko gopra and downward facing dog lift up your right leg bring your knee toward your right elbow and lift up and bring your knee toward your left elbow right elbow lift up left elbow lift up 
again right elbow and lift up and left elbow and we are staying and if you want to straighten your legs you can and come to your side plank if you want you can grab hold of your toe big toe on your side plank and from there continue on to your wild thing so just bring, bring a little bit more opening to your chest come back to your plank chaturanga up dog or cobra and downward facing dog other side inhale your left leg up left elbow leg up right elbow leg up left elbow left leg up right elbow one more time leg up left elbow leg up and right elbow maybe you want to straighten your leg and from there come to your side plank and remember to lift up your hip here and if you wanted you could grab hold of your big toe and balance a little make sure that your bottom leg is straight and long and uh, engaged and then come to your wild thing bring a little bit more opening to your chest Back to plank, chaturanga, up dog or cobra, downward facing dog, and then bring your knees to your mat. Come to seated position. You are moving on to boat pose, so you can grab hold of your under your knees and lift up your legs. Bring your hands to, the, to your sides keep in mind that your thighs are, should be as close to your upper body as, pos as possible and your seams are leveled with uh, the mat or the ground chest open and then you can rest a little but keep in mind that your feet are staying off the mat and then the second round you can have your knees bend it or you can straighten your legs still keep in mind that your upper body is close to your thighs and final round pick up the version you want to do and then a few more breaths here And then bring your feet down you can bring your left leg back and bring your right leg onto your half lotus and grab hold of your right big toes behind your back with your right hand if this is accessible meaning if you can keep both of your sitting bones on your mat if not you can just sit cross-legged and do little twist from there bringing your left hand onto your right knee and right hand to your back and then we are switching sides either bending your right leg bringing your left leg onto your half lotus keep in mind that your sitting bones are firmly on your mat and then grab hold of your left big toe behind your back or optionally sit cross-legged and do the twist from there then again releasing and come lie on your back we are coming to bridge pose Bend it, your heels to, uh, close to your palm and your palms firmly on the mat. Uh, engage your core and lift up your hips toward the ceiling. And keep in mind that you are bringing a little bit um, uh, sensation on your thighs. And you can do the other round same way or come to your wheel pose, which is you coming first on your bridge pose and then bringing your palms under your shoulders and start straightening your hands first bringing the crown of your head onto your mat and then lifting up 
completely. And enjoy this back bend, chest opening. Bring yourself mindfully back onto your mat and straighten your legs. Just come onto your neutral spine before continuing on. So bringing your feet over your head, bringing your toenails toward uh, the mat and then lifting your legs up, coming to your shoulder stand. Supporting your lower back the whole time. And keep in mind that this is no place to look sideways. Then bring your feet back onto the ground, uh, toenails to the mat if, it, if that's accessible and bring your palms firmly on the mat. And if your feet aren't touching the ground, then support your lower back the whole time that you are here. And then start bending your knees, bring your uh, knees toward your forehead and eventually toward your ears straightening your legs and supporting your lower back uh, you can stay in the plow pose so straightening your legs or you can bring your legs on your lotus pose this is option if you are already doing this on your practice so half uh, lotus pose here and then hugging your lotus, the next one. Again, if this is something that you are already doing in your practice. If not, that's fine. You can stay on your plow pose. And then slowly, slowly, wherever you are, start re reaching <laughs> and releasing. And if you are still in your lotus pose, you can start Lifting your lotus up, if not, just sit there for a while. And then we are coming on to our inversion, which is headstand today. And don't worry, if you aren't doing headstand yet in your practice, you can do this uh, on your wall. Or bringing your forearms onto your mat, grab hold of your biceps, then releasing the hold of your bicep and interlocking your fingers, bringing your head onto the cup which your hands are making and start just walking toward your uh, upper back, <laughs> upper body and you can stay wherever you are uh, in here or if you are already doing headstands just lift yourself up, engaging your core and remember that you are not actually on your head completely, but you are on your forearms. So keep in mind that even if you are not in your headstand, meaning you are not lifting your legs up, but if you are, if your head is on the mat and you are kind of in this downward, even the downward facing dog is actually an inversion. So you are kind of in the similar type of asana if you are not uh, lifting your legs up. If you are in your headstand, you can slowly, slowly start bringing yourself down. And you can visit in your child's pose, sitting onto your heels, bringing your forehead onto your mat or come straight onto your savasana. So once you are ready for your savasana, you are lying on your back, let your feet open outward a little, let your arms be on the side of your body, not touching your body and your palms are up, relax your shoulders, relax your back and then start focusing on your breath. If you feel any tension in your body from the practice or something else, 
remember that every exhalation is your opportunity to let go whatever you feel is not serving you anymore so you can inhale maybe something that you want in return into your body maybe it's just balance or harmony and just let go with your exhalations and let the relaxation lift up from your feet all the way to the crown of your head and let your breath guide you through this relaxation The code today goes like this. Although time seems to fly, it never travels faster than one day at a time. Each day is a new opportunity to live your life to the fullest. In each waking day, you will find scores of blessings and opportunities for positive change. Do not let your today be stolen by the unchangeable past or indefinite future. Today is new day. Good morning. You can start in like little bit of movement into your body, your fingers and your toes, your wrists and your ankles. Maybe you want to stretch yourself. Maybe you want to hug your knees in. Maybe when you are ready, just turn onto your right side and from there to your seated position in a position where you want to end this practice today keep in mind that your chest is again open and your spine is straight and long you can have your wrists rest on your knees remember that this is your place for gratitude toward the practice that you just did gratitude toward the new day that is ahead of you honoring your body and I want to thank you for sharing this practice to, with me today and then bring your palms together into your heart center lifting your thumbs in between your brows and make a little bow to say thank you namaste and I see you again next time and if you haven't already, remember to comment, like and subscribe to this channel. Bye now.